Hello everyone, so for today's recording, I'm going to show you how to do a curve text in Canva. Um, curve text is actually still not available as a feature in Canva, but we have some workarounds on how we can achieve that. Just like um, the image on this example right here. This one, I actually did this on Photoshop. Then I uploaded it to Canva uh, as a PNG file with a transparent background. So I can just, you know, move it anywhere I want to, like place it here, here, here. Uh, it depends where the background image that I'll be using. So I'm just going to put it back. Okay, so for Canva, since it's still not available and this is just a workaround, this will take too much of our time and patience. So. Um, if you don't know how to use Photoshop, then uh, this uh, will work for you. But if you knew already how to use Photoshop, I would still suggest to use it in Photoshop to save um, save time. Okay, let's see here. So I'm gonna do a text. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's use um, this one. Okay, so for Canva, since you cannot actually curve this, what we can do is actually type the letters, each of the letter, and then example this one. Okay, I'm gonna say your, so it's a Y, let's just let's make it bigger. Actually, it's used the word limit for this example just to make it short and it won't take so much of our time. So I'm going to use, let's say, 150. Nah, 200. Okay, so, okay, so now let's change it to L and then add another one for I. Then add another one for M. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on, where's uh, here? Add another one for I, and then for T. Okay, so now we have um, the letter for each, um, uh, the letter for the word limit. So let's start with letter L. And then I. Okay, so that's okay. I'm gonna just tilt it right here a bit. And then M. Since M um, is like the fifth letter, so that can serve as our center. Okay. And then for the T. Just drag it right here and then tilt it right like this. Hang on, it doesn't match. Okay, M. Let's put M on the center. Okay, okay and then so once you have, um, t uh, once you have all, if you think that l already look balanced or you could actually tilt some more if you think that already look balanced then you can just group them all together and then just adjust the size and then I'm gonna type in two capitals only I'm gonna change the font it doesn't look really nice for me I'm gonna change it to let's see Arval And uh, I'll put it in bold. I'm gonna choose the spacing so it will 
the, collect, um, the space between the letters are stretched. Put it on the center. Let's put it in the center. So it's just this one. Okay, let's go ahead and change the color to um, pink instead of black. Let's choose pink. See, yes, as what I told you, it's gonna take so much of time since you'll be working on each letter instead of per word, but that's okay. If you don't have Photoshop, then you can actually just do this instead. Your only limit is you, so gonna copy this um, font style you know to keep it consistent that's what I use uh, that's what I usually do just copy the first um, text that I have and then just change the content so it's still in capital there okay now let's group them all together and put them in the center and there you go so that's the workaround right now we have in Canva to achieve um, the core of text but if um, but if you've got Photoshop and also know now how to use Photoshop then you can go ahead and do that in Photoshop that's actually better as it will save more time but I hope Canva will have this feature soon and that'll be more fun well I hope you enjoyed the video thanks